before we can get started you have to make sure that you choose the appropriate region because config is the service that is specific to a region so if i just go to config and start configuring it this means that it will be implemented to all the resources in this region of frankfurt now let's go and get started and these are the settings that we have to include first thing first we have to make sure that we choose the resources in my case i choose all resources this means that if i choose the resources then config will track changes made to all the resources in this region of frankfurt if you want you can choose specific type of resources you have to choose the st bucket because the bucket here will receive the entire configuration history and configuration snapshot files so i'll go with this default bucket name this bucket would be created behind the scenes and this bucket will, will receive the entire configuration history and configuration snapshot files then if you want you can stream all the changes made to the sns topic which means that any of the changes made to any of the resources will trigger an email alert to your inbox as if now we're going to skip it we have to make use of a role because eight of this config will need a role this role is needed by config so that it can get read only access to all resources behind the scenes so i choose the first option that is use an existing eight of this config service linked role i click on next now the time has come when we have to include some rules so the rule that we want to go for is ssh and we want to choose the restricted SSH. Now, if you choose this rule, this means that it will track any of the security groups which have the unrestricted SSH port opened up. I click on next right now and click confirm. So it says the bucket name already exists because we, we can't have two buckets with the same name. So let's go to previous. Let's go to the previous page and what i can do is that i can change the name of it i can just include a number and that's it i hit on next i choose ssh restricted ssh click on next click on confirm so this completes the configuration now before i started with this entire stuff i have included two different security groups with ssh ports unrestricted so if i just go to the services i open ec2 let me show you those two different groups so i just go to the instance dashboard go to the security groups dashboard you can see that there are three different groups if i pick the first two you will see that i've intentionally included ssh from anywhere and if i just go to the second one included ssh unrestricted from anywhere this means that config will track these changes made to these two different groups and will show me the two non-compliant resources let's go back to the config console and let's hit refresh and you can see that this dashboard is showing up exactly all the resources and the changes made to any one of them now in this case it shows me two non-compliant resources the reason being because i have two different security groups which have the ssh ports unrestricted so i go to this two non-compliant resources and it will show me the two different groups that have the ssh port unrestricted so i can click on any one of them and you can see that the compliance is non-compliant i just click on manage resource and this will take me to the security group dashboard now from here i can just go to inbound hit edit and i can just make the appropriate changes so i include the ssh from my ip hit save so that's the main purpose of config it will just track all the changes made to any of your resources and if any of the things are not compliant then you can just see a list of those resources on config and then you can exactly go through some steps to make appropriate changes to all the resources so that's all about AWS config and how you configure it initiate it and how you include rules within it